Hey, what's up, my people? This is your boy DJ Chase Mode. I'm back again with a brand new video. Um, sorry, man, it's been a while since I've posted videos. Um, it's just been a busy beginning of the year. Um, it's a lot of strategizing of my um, of my uh, what do you call it? My business. I've been trying to get things to, um, to just fall in place. Um, I'm new in Texas, um, and not that new. I'm about two years old in Texas, and so I'm, I, you know, I'm trying to build my business. As you all know, I do this full time. Um, so uh, some of the things that come with doing some of, uh, you know, a business full time is you have to, um, you know, I don't have employees right now, so I have to do all uh, avenues, all sides of the business. I have to take care of a lot of the uh, marketing stuff. So I've been doing a lot of networking and stuff and and just been busy doing events and haven't been able to actually film that good videos. I've done some filming, but the videos were not that good because you're so busy trying to do all that. I did get, um, what do you call it? I got a um, action camera that I put in my on, my on my side here so that I can move around while filming, but then the audio for that camera is terrible. So, I'm trying to get better at things. I might end up just hiring someone and have someone go with me or, you know, find an intern or something. Somebody just can go with me um, so that they can just do that. Just take short, um, you know, film the entire event and just do a good job doing that. But um, here today, I'm going to be, um, you know, doing a video for, um, it's a gig log for an Easter conference that we did. It's an annual event, um, at least I know now it's an annual event. I did it last year and we had a lot of people and so I was struggling with the audio. So this year I decided to collaborate with Classic Sound and Lighting out of Marietta, um, Marietta Oklahoma. So what happened is, um, uh, we had to, I just upscale the gig because last year it wasn't, I didn't provide that much ample audio. So I upscaled the, the gig and brought um, classic sound and lighting out there to um, give me that nice quality sound. So we did some um, flying of some QSCKW 153. We had six of the three-way speakers from QSCs and we had uh, six of the double 18 from Yamaha CW series the pro series so um it, it was it was definitely more than enough sound for that building we had I, at some instance that we had about 2,000 people that's what they told me and I got some pictures from them and I know there was a lot of people because I did it last year and um, the other thing about it this is an African event if you know how Africans get down they do not play it's a church event um, Church of the Pentecost, this is a northern region conference all the way from, I think, Kansas, all the way, all the way uh, to Dallas, Oklahoma, Houston. They, people came from everywhere and um, they get crazy, man. You got like eight wireless microphones on stage and you got people screaming on microphones and they just go crazy. And so you need heavy duty system that can take the abuse. Your system is going to be abused. I know that I already warned classic sound and lighting is gonna be a crazy gig. And um, it was fun, you know, it's not provided people are together just, you know, worshiping God. That's always a good thing anyway. So, um, so it's a crazy gig, so we had to have enough stuff. Um, some of the downsides of the gig is uh, we didn't have enough stage monitors. Um, it's confusing that this, the main stage is where the elders are at and the main singer. And then there was a side stage, as you're going to see, and on the side stage is where they have the band. So it's very confusing to kind of you know, do sound for that, but I know what I'm gonna do next year. I'm gonna line up a bunch of monitors on stage where the elders are and put a side field system so that nobody will tell me nothing. Put a sub in the top, a sub in the top, side field, like I would do in a, in a concert. But this is just a church setting, so, but they are so loud that I would have to do a concert setup for them. And so this is what I've decided I'm going to do next year because I don't want, you know, be pushing the monitors too loud. The terrible sounds monitors that we had 
could not take it. And this is a 2,500 watts monitor. It just could not take it anymore. It was redlining and we had to bring it down. So anyway, enjoy the video. Um, I have, I might have two more videos that I'm working on. I'm just gonna go through the footage to make sure that the footage is just good enough for me to put it on YouTube. Um, even this, I had to cut it into small pieces because it's so long I just put the camera there and let it roll and I had to cut the footage because it's just us setting up uh, you know setting up a bunch of stuff and you know and, and and a few clips from the event now I wasn't at the event I had another event that's why I had classic sound and lighting come and run sound for that event I was just helped in setting up and all that stuff so um, like I said we're using QSC High, uh, mid, uh, you know, QSC three-way speakers. We're using Yamaha Double Eighteen Tower Sound IQ monitors and uh, EV ELX monitors. Behringer X32, of course. And um, yep, it was a good gig. Um, please don't forget to follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this page. Don't forget to like this video. All right, this is your boy DJ Chase Mode, Dream Entertainment, Classic Sound and Lighting. Shout out to Classic Sound and Lighting, uh, John Reed and Taylor Reed out there, out of Marietta, Oklahoma. My people, my partner company. All right, people, all right, people um, practice and enjoy. This is your boy DJ Chase Mode, signing out.
stands you want to use for the overhead?
Bye. 